This new jail is proposing yet another substantial completion date, which could delay the project once more. The new law enforcement center has already eclipsed its opening dates last September and again this April. KTIV's Matt Hoffman's been following that project. And Matt, what kind of impact, what's the ripple effect that this date change could have? Yeah, sure, Matt. There's a few of them. The proposed date could have a few. There's the timeline, of course. The project has already missed several previous dates. This would be another delay, but there are other issues, too. For instance, the Board of Supervisors waited to buy a $39,000 air compressor for the hope that the old jail might be, the old jail, rather, <laughs> they may be able to keep that unit using in the old jail before the new jail is open. But now, that's in doubt, too. The newly proposed date is June 7th. That would be a couple-week delay from the last date proposed by the contractor, which was May 23rd. A spokesperson for the LEC Authority, which oversees the project, says the proposed substantial completion date is simply the contractor reserving the right to bill for certain expenses through that date. The spokesperson says the parties continue to evaluate the remaining scope of the work on the project. Now, the authority is expected to provide its own update on the project at its meeting on Tuesday. The Woodbury County Board of Supervisors Chairman Matthew Ong tells me the board may have to reconsider its decision to defer funding an air conditioning unit at the old jail. They hoped they could hold out until the new jail opened. But if the project is delayed further into the summer, they'll likely have to pay for the AC unit. There's also the issue of lost revenue. Now, the plan is for the jail to make the county money by housing federal prisoners under a contract with the U.S. Marshal Service. However, the longer the project remains closed, the more money the county is losing out on. And if you're wondering how we got to this point, we have a lot of previous coverage on our website at KTIV.com. Our coverage includes a previously confidential memo that lays out the four main problem areas, interviews with county officials, and a calculation of how much money the county has already lost and in revenue. You can view those stories right now online. Matt Hoffman for us tonight. Matt, thank you. This week, Iowa.